This is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy, but if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. Oh, I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. This will feel real nice on us. And later on tonight, so will she. Don't talk about Sarah that way. She's sweet. She's smart. She could be the woman that we're looking for. And tonight is only our first date with her. Yeah, either get her off that pedestal or put her on a higher one so I can look up her dress. <laughs> we stop this puerile bickering. Let's put on our suit and get to work. But white linen, it wrinkles. It stains. Yeah, if we're lucky. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing is going to happen to our suit. <laughs> oh, Herman, what happened to your suit? A cab went through a puddle just as I was coming into the building. Is that linen? That'll never come out. <laughs> the funniest thing just happened. Just as my cab was coming up to the building, some schmo got... <laughs> Herman, you just missed some poor sucker on his way into the... I guess you know the rest. Jeez. Hey, what do you say? You up for a little uh, chick hunting tonight? Bag some babes? As appealing as that sounds, I can't. I have a big date tonight. Herman, my man, I'm very happy for you. So what, are you going to uh, chuck the old Q-stick? Chuck the Q-stick? I love this guy. Yes, he's a regular Oscar Wilde. Jay, this isn't just another chance to score. I think she could be the one. The one? That's an interesting concept. So what, there'd be just that one, and there wouldn't be any others. Huh. I gotta run. Oh, hey, take your date to Fanzini's, hottest spot in town. Tell him Jay sent you. So, Herman, you have a date tonight, huh? That's right. Well, it just so happens someone else in this office has a date tonight. Oh, really? And who might that be, Louise? It's me, Herman. It's me. <laughs> well, good for you, Louise. Yeah. The ladies in my Courage to Date workshop fixed me up with this guy from the Courage to Commit workshop. His name is Howard. He's a man, and he's looking for someone. Doesn't he sound perfect, Herman? <laughs> Let's call it a good start. Eddie dropped a muffin. Louise answered the phone. Herman, what happened to your suit? Splashed by a cab, sir. <laughs> Enough small talk. It's about 70 pages and it's critical. Work all night if you have to. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. What about our date? Calm down. I'll handle this. Consider it done, sir. <laughs> nice handling. <laughs> when the sun's supernova destroys our solar system in five billion years... Yes, Herman. Well, oh, that's okay. Go ahead, finish with your research question. This isn't research. It's more than that loser down in marketing asking when I'm going to have dinner with him. <laughs> well? Hedy, look, I need a favor. I have a date tonight with an incredible woman. Would you please do this assignment for me? Well, sure, Herman. I'd be glad to do it. Right after I donate a kidney to the children's hospital. Hedy, please, this is very important to me. Look, I'll do an assignment of yours next week. Do two of mine next week. One. Three. Two. Four. Four. What happened to three? Okay, three. God, that was easy. I would have done it for two. <laughs> would have given you five. 